That's right, check the mic. We're headed to Canterbury. My name is Wayne Bolden. I am your speed king, and you heard it correct. I am headed to Canterbury, Wednesday night up Canterbury. Beautiful Minnesota area is so wonderful up there. Uh, I've been up to the Twin Cities many times. However, on Wednesday night, all eyes are on Canterbury. They got five or six, maybe even seven stake races up there. We have two already out there. We're ready to do the two-year-old Colton Geldings, right? The Futurity, the Northern Light. Yeah, that's right. It sounds right. And how can we not give Canterbury and all of our supporters up there some love? Starting with none more than Mr. Scotty Mack, a big, big supporter. I believe he's the ambassador of our channel. Thanks, Scott, for all your, your, your support, and I mean that. And, of course, our favorite trainer up in that area, Miss Valerie Lund. Let's dive right in, but before we do, do us a big favor, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, you know what else to do, join the membership, let's get rid of DJ Boogie and the Brooklyn Five as we move north to Canterbury for Wednesday. It is tomorrow, we got two videos out there already. And you know Mr. Jacob Meister is running, and I'm kind of torn down the middle about him. I know he's fresh, and that's what scares me. Because if he's on his game, he's going to spank somebody. That's a nice horse. That's a nice horse. Um, but the two-year-old Futurity, that's right, the Northern Light Futurity, eighth race, two-year-old Colton Gelding, a field of ten, this won't take long. I analyzed this race, and I looked at it top and bottom. Very nice bloodlines. I'm telling you right now, rest of Minnesota bred, there are some very, very nice uh, horses up there. Okay, these horses can run. They're healthy too, and their numbers are healthy. But let's take a look at this here eighth race for two year old babies. And maybe we can get a Kentucky Derby contender out of here. Or something like that. Having a bunch of fun as always. Uh, well, eighth race, the number one horse, right? Uh, Overseas uh, letter, overseas letter. I wrote her a letter. One start, one win. This horse is by Shanghai Bobby, and uh, speed figure is is suspect at best, right? Um, horse is six to one. I mean, overseas letter is six to one. Let me blow this up. Make sure I can see what I can see and. Um, yeah, when I read this, I mean, overseas letter just looked totally overmatched here. Let's not be playing around with the letter horse. Let's throw him out. Uh, the number two horse, well, Zavy Dave. Zavy Dave, one start, one win. How are you going to knock that? You cannot. Mr. Robinson is the trainer. Uh, jock combination you know, with this Hamilton person is about 33%, the jock trainer combination. So Robinson and Hamilton hooked up quite frequently. And I would be shocked if Xavier Davy can win this race, the number two horse. Speed figures is too light. Now, let me say this. Let me qualify it right away. With young horses, right? And that's what these here two-year-old short-line horses are. We call them short-line horses. One of my favorite plays, right? Their improvement between their first and second race is usually the biggest improvement. And between third and fourth and fourth and fifth. These horses are getting better. They're not getting worse. Okay. Um, you know, they're not old timers. They're not, you know, a lava man. Okay. Or John Henry. These horses should get better. So, going in, your speed figure may be a little less or quite less than some of the others. But if there's something that you like about the horse and the breeding, the trainer, the connections, the workouts, whatever it is, and you're getting your square price, these horses jump. And when they jump, they jump big. So we have to make a decision here where we're handicapped. And so when I throw a horse out that has one start and one win, I'm just basically saying I'm not negative against them. I'm just going to take a position and use somebody else. Because there's nothing negative about a horse that has one start right and one win and then he's got a top top trainer like mr robinson and then the trainer jock combination is 33 percent so again i want to make sure i'm clear on that right this horse has the number one and the number two has every right to continue to improve they both have one start and they both have one win overseas letter being the one and 
uh, Xavier Davy, the number two, is one for one as well. I just think going in, their speed figure is really, really uh, cut below the number five here. And they can improve the one and two, but so can the five. So that's, I just want to make sure I clear that up, all right? Young, young horses. Um, if you're getting your price, please, by all means, play your, always bet your opinion, right? I'm just one guy, and, and we all have opinions, and I learn from you as well. The number three horse, Dr. Oscar. Now, how many horses up in Canterbury has the Oscar name? I've seen it three or four times. So much fun. Dr. Oscar, the number three horse, got two starts and one win for a cool 26000 Ben Winkle is the trainer, and again, um, nothing really negative about this horse. This horse's last speed figure is comparable. And the number three, Dr. Oscar, is probably going to be my second pick in this race. I actually think this is going to be a walkover, but I do like Dr. Oscar. Uh, this horse is by one of my favorite sires, Shackelford. Uh, I bet money on that horse all the time. And uh, I like Dr. Oscar in this spot. The horse is speedy. He will get to the front, or he should get to the front. The two and the four should stalk him. So the three horse has a big, big chance, in my opinion, in this spot. And the number four, St. Charles. St. Charles, I probably should use him because my son's name is Charlie or Charles. He's got one start, St. Charles, with zero wins. That means he's still a maiden. That means I'm going to throw him off the ticket. Speed figure is really, really low. Let's throw St. Charles out. And the number five, well... Love the Nest. Love the Nest has two starts, one win and one second. Again, um, I think this is our winner right here, folks. Uh, this horse uh, is a couple with, uh, I believe the trainer, I may be saying the name wrong, is uh, uh, Burned It, Burn It, Burnett. Okay, Burnett and Eckleberry. The jock is a 20. 28% uh, win uh, percentage together. So Alcabari and uh, Brent is uh, very, very high here. And Love Ness speed figure towers over these. I would be shocked if the five horse Love the Ness loses this race. All this horse has to do, if, if he improves any, he will stomp him. The horse is 7 to 5 on the morning line. I'm telling you this horse should be 1 to 5. If you get 6 to 5, and I don't bet anything below 8 to 5 or 9 to 5, and that's too short for me. But when you've got a, a 60, 63% win probability, and that's what this horse has, you don't see that. This is like a yellow belly sapsucker. This is rare. This horse win probability out of our database is, I, I, this may be the highest win probability I've ever seen. I've never seen a 63% win probability out of this, out of, out of a race. And that's what Love the Nest has here. I mean, I would be shocked if this horse loses. This horse should be unbettable from where we sit here in our studio based on the data that we reading in terms of past performance and, and our own database where we run and look for fair value. We look for win probability and what are the morning line versus what we think the horse odds should be. We call that fair odds um, versus what he's actually going off. And we got this horse being one to five. So love the nest should crush these, all right? Um, go on, six pounds. And the number six horse, uh, Ben Malice. Ben Malice, two starts, one first, one second. Mr. Van Winkle has another one in this race. Very, very nice horse, obviously. Looks like this horse is meant for the turf by Palace Malice. Uh, we don't like the horse in this particular spot, but again, there's nothing wrong with them. We're going to throw the number six horse, Ben Malice, off the ticket. Happy Hour Bobby. Well, there's nothing wrong with Mr. Happy Hour. Anybody that's happy by Shanghai Bobby. Again, two starts, one win, and one third. And speed figures are just too light here. Okay? Just, just too light here. They're not good enough. I mean, even if this horse improved by 10 points and Love Nest don't improve and just run his last race, he crushes them. All indications Love Nest is going to improve off of that last race which was on August 4th, which was 35 days. So this horse has seven, five weeks rest off of that big, big effort. Five is going to be awfully, awfully hard here, folks. Happy hour, Bobby, even though I love the name. Not here, Bob. No, the number seven horse off the ticket. 
North Arm Bay, four starts, zero wins. You know where I'm headed with this. This horse is still a maiden. Well, speed figures are horrible. The horse never beat maiden yet. And the number eight horse, North Arm Bay, should be tossed directly off the ticket. The number nine horse, Jack's Willie. Jack's Willie, two starts, one win. Not bad at all. By Magician, an Irish bred horse. That's right. Raven is our trainer of record. Speed figures are horrible. Okay, I have no idea why the nine horse Jack Willie is even in this race, right? Somebody call the racing secretary, tell him, I don't know why you let this horse in. And, and by the way, with Jack Willie, well, you had one maiden race, did break her maiden. Did he get DQ? No, he won the race. And then he came back in the stake race and got stomped on the August 14th and finished 10th by 28th. So the number nine horse is just... Not good in this spot. And, of course, the number 10, Mark of Valor. What a nice name this is. Nice two-year-old colt by Attaboy Roy. Uh-oh. Here's my girl, Valerie Ludd. Well, Attaboy Roy, uh, you know, has this here colt, two-year-old, one of his babies, Mark Valor. Of course, out of Attaboy Roy. Miss Ludd is our trainer of record, of course. And it looks like she's the owner breeder as well. Um... Well, maybe I, I, I need to ask around and see what they think of this horse. I mean, the rating, we do, a, on our database, we do a, a breeding rating, and this horse's rating is fairly good. It's what we believe is an 82. Let's look at the rest of them. So that's an 82, and 9 to 79, 83 on a 7, 86, 73. The five horses, wow, five horses is horrible, 51. Problem, and it's four horses, 100. So, I mean, the bottom horse isn't that bad. I mean, Mark of Valor. So, here's what we're going to do. We don't think the five is beatable because off of his first race, Love the Nest, ran a huge, huge race. The horse is coming off a five-week layoff. We expect any two-year-old second race to be better than their first, right? And if that's the case, they won't, they won't find Love the Nest unless somebody in here is some sort of special they won't ever find Love the Nest. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to pick the number five as our best bet of the card on, on Wednesday night. It's almost virtually impossible to beat this horse. I think he's unbeatable. I think he's unbettable because they shouldn't allow you to be able to wager because he should be one to five, one to nine. That's why he's unbettable because he's un, you, you, you shouldn't be able to wager on him. If you get even money eight to five and you're six to five, you never hear me say this. I would push the money in there on this horse. That's the number five, Love the Nest. And our second choice is going to be number three, Dr. Oscar. And I'm not sure what uh, Mark of Valor is. I mean, it is Valerie Ludd's horse. So, again, I'm going to make that horse my third choice. I mean, I, I'm not uh, ever dismayed by supporting uh, Valerie. I know the job that she does with those horses and the love and the care and the, the attention to detail. So there you go, folks. As always, down in the description, please see our disclaimer. We think the eighth race, that's right, the two-year-old Northern, uh, the Northern Light, I believe it's the Northern Light Futurity, the number five horse, uh, Love the Nest, should just absolutely stomp this bunch. Okay, I mean, it, I, the three horse is a very nice horse, but he's, he's six limbs slower than the five. You know, so the number five, Love the Nest, looks like a lead pipe cinch. He looks like a lot. As always, you know what to do. Please subscribe to our channel. Those classy, classy people up there in Minnesota. Hope you all will have a great, great night tomorrow. Have some fun. We're going to put on a little jazz for those folks up in Minnesota. Thanks a bunch for your support. As always, does sound right. Enjoy yourself. Stay classy in all that you do. Enjoy yourself up there at Canterbury, folks. You're Speed King. I'm gone. It does sound right, DJ.